Welcome to another Remix Short. We're going to see how to perform a data mutation or how to add a record to our database, get that to update our UI. And um, uh, yeah, that, that should be it. So I've got a little app here that I've been working on. Um, it's talking to DynamoDB with the architect starter. And I am I'm loading the data, rendering uh, the, the people over here. So I want the ability to add a new record in there. So I'm going to come down here to my list and I just want a little form like right here at the bottom underneath. So let's make, let's make a form inside of our list item. I'm going to say form method is post and we'll have input type text. Uh, name is going to be first name on this. And then let's do another one. This one's going to be last name. And then we'll just put our submit button right next to it. I guess we'll say add on there. Oh, form's not defined. I'm not using TypeScript, so I'm going to make lots of these mistakes. Uh, all right. Let's give that a shot. Okay, now we got our form. Very cool. So I want to be able to add new records in there. So I'm going to need an action. So I'm going to say export async function action. And this is going to give me a request. And what will happen is when the user submits this form right here, Remix is going to automatically uh, make a post with fetch to the server with whatever's inside of this form. So this form is a, is a declarative mutation. We're describing a mutation. And by using these inputs, we're letting the user provide the values. So we could do like input type hidden and uh, us, the programmers, could provide the value. Um, so it's really just, do you want the user to control what's being posted or you? But either way, a form uh, doesn't necessarily mean that the user sees it uh, like and sees all the fields. It's just a, a declarative way to describe a mutation. And the browser and Remix both know how to serialize those values, that description, and send it to the server. So up here in my action, the first thing I want to do is get my form data. So I'm going to request, await request.form data. This is a form data API. So if we go to MDNIO form data, it's one of these, um, which came from this request, one of these. So Remix just hands you web APIs. Um, and then I'm going to do a little shortcut here. I want this as just like an object of values. So I'm going to say values is object from entries, just built in JavaScript stuff. Uh, so now instead of getting it, like form data is kind of a funny API. You got to do like get and there's append and there's set and things like that. And it can kind of be cumbersome to work with. So um, occasionally I'll do this. I'll just say, you know, what, just turn that into an object for me. And then uh, here, what we need to do is tell our database to do a mutation. So I'm just going to turn, uh, actually I need my, I need my database. So that's arc.tables again. Once again, this is uh, not Remix API. This is uh, DynamoDB on AWS through Architect. And we're going to say DB people put. I'm going to uh, spread all the values in there. And then I'm going to add my own things here, created at. It's going to be a new date. I'm going to do to ISO string. And, oh, I want to give it an ID too. I should probably bring in like a UUID library or something to have like a good ID on this thing. I'm just going to. I'm just going to be quick and cheap and uh, do it kind of the, I don't know, goofy way. I've done this so many times, I've got it memorized now. <laughs> okay, so now I have described on the server side how to perform the mutation. So the form is the description of the mutation. This is the actual server side handler. This won't go to the browser. This code is not running in the browser. This code right here only runs on the server. And we're telling DynamoDB to put that record in there. And I just caught a bug. Uh, this is created at. Okay. All right. Let's save this and let's give it a shot over here. Uh, I'm going to clear out the network tab so we can watch what Remix is doing down here. So I'll put my wife in. Why not? She's one of my contacts. 
Woo! Woo! Did you see that? Okay. She showed up in the list. Where in my code? Like, there, there's nothing in my code to deal with any of that kind of stuff here, right? All I did was said, all right, here's a form to get some information from the user. They can submit it. There's no on submit. There's no on click. There's no fetch. There's no post. There's no expiring query keys. There's none of that stuff. Uh, and then I just have my server side code back here to deal with it. And then Remix does the rest. Uh, we patterned it after the browser. So if you disable JavaScript here, and let's do this again. I'm used, uh, who, who I use here? Doris Peterson, my grandma, my late grandma. She was awesome. Uh, so there's no JavaScript here. This is just gonna be the browser doing it. See, it's the same experience. So, so the browser, like the model of plain HTML, no JavaScript, no fetch, no remix, no react, none of this stuff. The model is make a post to the server send along a payload of a description of the mutation, have some code on the back end that processes that mutation, and then send a document back with the new data by calling this loader. So if you go back 20 years in web development, this, is, this was pretty much just the only way to do it. Uh, form, action handler, load the data from your database, render the page. And so Remix emulates all of that stuff with fetch on the network tab uh, where we re-enable JavaScript. Uh, let's do my, my grandpa Bill. Post, send the payload, and then when that post is done, you see we make a request for the data for the people route with this and then uh, Remix and React and React Router, all three of them together, uh, do a set state to then render again with the new people. So we've modeled it after just plain HTML and HTTP, um, but you can see you actually get the behavior of a single page application. Um, so it's, I, I love it, I love it. Super simple APIs, but really modern implementation. And this is, this is what we call uh, the revalidation, the second, the second post right here. Let me, uh, I guess let's do Bill again, why not? This get after the post, that's, the, that's what we call revalidation. So let's go back to the server and get the data. So Remix knows how to automatically keep in sync your UI with your backend data. You don't have to do that part yourself in Remix. You don't have to expire query keys. You don't have to do any of that kind of stuff. You can just have the form, have the back end, and then it's all connected.